All right, hi. Uh, so today, um, I'm going to be showing you guys how I draw curly hair or attempt to draw curly hair because I'm not really that good at it. But I do know there's plenty of different um, techniques to do when drawing it. So you can already see I started to just get it out of the way and draw, you know, a head. A base so that you guys don't see me struggle too much with this um, yeah so I have a really odd big alien looking head here and I do have the symmetry down like going straight down vertically in the middle and yeah so first is figuring out how long I want her hair to be and I do know I want some volume so I'm just going to start here at the top and just do some wiggly, squiggly lines like this. Maybe I'll go back and add more volume, more shape to it, because I know that curly girls have like a lot of um, different cuts to their hair, different shapes. I guess there's like really no right or wrong way to do curly hair saying that makes me feel a little better so I'm just gonna I'm gonna say that <laughs> yeah uh, all right so this is like the typical straight down I guess like curly hair when it's at that length it kind of comes out towards the ends but I do think I want to add a layer so I'm gonna come back up here and draw some more volume and erase those lines like so. so, this is like a layer there, and then come in here, erase this, yeah, that's better, we like that, no, 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 maybe I don't like it that much, but okay, so I'm going to come in up here and give her a part like that, kind of like in the middle, Maybe give her some bangs, some cute little curly bangs. The curls aren't exactly, um, I'm going to erase this head part right here. Actually, you know what, no, bring that back. <laughs> I'm going to add some pieces like that. There we go. Maybe have some come out over here. Erase this part. I don't know what that is. I don't know what I'm trying to do with that. There we go. I think I want to turn the symmetry off and then go in and just draw some squiggles coming in like that. I'm just sketching some some hairs in because like with curly hair it's not really the same. Um you don't you're not gonna unless you're like a witch or something, you're not gonna have curly hair that's um not like that. That is identical on each side. Like look at my hair right now. This is so it looks crazy. I just look I look wild. So that's what we want. We want some wild, voluminous, curly hair. So, yeah. Um, speaking of wiggly lines, and I guess this curly hair is uh, more of a loose curl. Maybe if I add like tighter curls, like, you know, not make the squiggles so far apart, it would look like a, uh, like four. C for A, you know, it just depends on how you want the hair to look. So, like, if it's more coily, you do, like, maybe something like that, you know? Um, so maybe she'll have, like, a combination of, like, uh, wavy and coily hair. I like that a little more. I think that the coils, like, the more coily it is, the better it'll look. So maybe adding as many coils as you can and this is just like one way to do it there's so many ways to um 
do the curly hair effect. I, I just think that this is probably one of the easier ways, but also it's going to look different uh, once you color it, depending on your style, if you color it. Not everybody wants their drawings colored in. Okay, so I am back. Um, alright, so this was the end result of this curly hair. I guess I could come back later and, you know, just add some shading to it to make it look more interesting. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and erase all of this. Actually, what am I doing? Okay, so I went ahead and erased all that. I'm going to go in and do a different hairstyle. Let me just draw the top of her head back. I'm a little smaller than the last time, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking of maybe a ponytail. I don't know how I'm going to do this exactly. Uh, pigtails. Yeah, so I think I'm going to do pigtails. Getting this shape is not easy for me. All right, so, same thing, just doing more squigglies. But you know what, I actually think I want to paint her hair in this time. So I may use a different type of, uh, she has a really big forehead. I may use a different type of brush tool. So, let's see which one I like. I'm gonna go ahead and erase all that. And then I'm gonna make a new layer. Turn down the opacity. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Just go ahead and fill all that in. Let's color all of this in. It have to be perfect because it's going to look more like just curly, poofy hair. So, yeah, I'll just fill all that in. There's an easier way to do that, but I'm being kind of weird right now. Alright, so, here we go. I could stop there, but I'm not going to. Add more. It's too light for my liking. Alright, so I'm going to make the brush smaller. And start creating like little squiggly lines everywhere. Just keep going in and out.
So racist thing down the middle. Make a clean cut. Alright, so these were the end results of my how to draw curly hair video. Um, well, it's more of a, just me drawing, not a tutorial, but my next video I will be animating this drawing right here. If you guys are interested in that, I will show you what free program to use and how I do that. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye.